Hi, it's Gavin Routledge again at ActiveX Clinics, helping you to be active for life. So there are really essentially just three types of pain that may come as a surprise to some of you who've experienced burning, stabbing, aching, throbbing, and all these other descriptions. But according to the International Association for the Study of Pain, which is the international body on the knowledge of pain, there are essentially three. Uh, first one is easy to deal with. It's described as transient pain. Uh, transient pain is when you touch something hot on the cooker top and immediately pull your hand back before any damage actually occurs. So it's very transient, happens, it's gone. Uh, it's very useful, of course, a good warning sign. You won't do that again. Um, the other two types are perhaps best um, described by telling you a little story. Um, so yesterday morning uh, I had a, a new patient, a chap called Ian, uh, who's a builder and he had developed fairly severe acute pain just three days ago um, working on site. Um, then later that day I saw a lady called Mary who's uh, very much a sedentary worker and she had been experiencing neck and shoulder pain for about three years on and off. Now you already know enough to be able to categorize these people into the two remaining types of pain as described by the IASP. They are essentially acute and chronic pain. Now acute pain isn't a description of how severe a pain is and nor is chronic. Acute simply means a pain that's lasted less than three months and chronic, a pain that's lasted more than three months or has recurred over a number of times over a long period. The importance here is that dealing with each of them, acute and chronic, requires a very different management approach. Um, and if, if any clinician you've seen in the past hasn't made that differentiation, then, then you really are missing out on something really, really important. So if you've had a short-term pain less than three months, the simple principle is use it or lose it, but don't abuse it. So keep moving, do all the things that you would normally do, but try and avoid things that are obviously painful and make your pain worse. On the other hand, if you've had a long-term pain or a pain which keeps coming and going, uh, the principle is simply use it or lose it. So we drop the don't abuse it bit. Um, so with chronic long-lasting pain, it's important to do things despite a little bit of pain. Now that can be quite difficult to manage and we would certainly be able to uh, help you through that process. But those are the sound principles. Uh, transient pain, it's a reflex. We don't have to worry too much about transient pain. It's a good warning sign. Acute pain, less than three months. Use it or lose it, but don't abuse it. And chronic pain, lo longer than three months very important to to do things sometimes despite a little bit of pain now i'll talk at more length about acute and chronic pain in other blog posts so um, thanks for tuning in and if you think this is of any value to any friends that you may have then please forward it on or like it on uh, facebook okay thank you